welcome back. Gwen Lawrence here from my Flow Series Notebook. Today I'm going to show you a insane series that I like to do. Remember, this Flow Series Notebook is for teachers that are looking some, for some creative ideas to teach or for you for your home practice. So I'm going to say this is upper body and lower body insane class. And I'm going to just preface the whole thing by saying each pose you're going to hold two to five plus minutes, depending on the length of your class and if you want to fit them all in. So we're going to start with a wide knee extended arm child's pose. Just amazing for open up the hips, settling in, getting some breath going. Remember, two to five plus minutes. And then you're going to come up onto your belly and hold a supported sphinx or you can extend the arms. Remember to keep that lower body totally relaxed, shoulders out of your ears. From here, you're going to go into one of my favorites, a face down shoulder stretch. So we're going to bring the arm out to the side. Remember that that middle finger is in line with your eyes. Turn your head the other way. Bend your right elbow, bend your right knee, and roll it over. And hold there. Come out, go back into maybe just a one minute extended arm child pose with very, very wide knees. And then you're gonna do the other side, face down shoulder stretch. Okay, then a real amazing, delicious one. You come onto your back, knees into your chest. Right knee over the left. Bring your butt up two inches to the left, knees into your chest, drop the knees all the way over. My back already cracked. Left arm out, palm facing up, and hold this amazing twist. Three to five plus minutes. Come out, let the back readjust by just staying in center for a few deep breaths, and then do the other side. Then you're going to come up, and I prefer that you get your class to be sitting on bolsters and have some sandbags too. So the next pose is going to be just a traditional Baddha Konasana, but on support and make sure your head can rest on some blocks. If you're able to, if you have a friend nearby, resting some sandbags on your back, two to five plus minutes. Then you're going to go into a seated forward bend. Then you're going to come back to diamond pose. So Baddha Konasana, only the feet further away from you. This translation switches your stretch from groin inner thigh to more solid, deep hip joint, maybe even down the leg a little bit. Make sure your head is supported. Sandbags on your back if you want. And seated forward bend. And then we're going to end with the supported fish. One of my favorites is getting the block underneath your back. Butt is on the floor. You'd release until the top of your head comes to the floor. If it's not possible, support the head until you can have your butt and head on the floor at the same time. An amazing class. I get nothing but rave reviews from it. So we got child's pose, wide need. We got that sphinx pose, face down shoulder stretch both ways. The twist both ways. We've got to rest that low back in the middle. Baddha Konasana, forward bend, diamond pose, forward bend, supported fish. Awesome. Try it out on yourself and then go ahead and teach it to your class. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you know every time I upload a new flow series notebook for you. See you next time.